New Radio Sports Network and 104.1 WRLU. Good morning. I'm Tim Coles, and we are joined right now for our season finale of the show with head coach Pat Mickish as we come up on the final weekend of the season. One more hockey broadcast for you coming up on Saturday. Teddy Bear Toss. Uh, Green Bay will host Madison. That game will begin at 7.05 p.m. You'll be able to catch the game on your home for Green Bay Gamblers Hockey, 104.1 WRLU and new radio sports network.com. And coach, looking back at, at a tough weekend against Dubuque, nine to four, you lost uh, in that first game. You went to Dubuque, lost seven to two. And I think the thing that we got to keep in mind is not only have you had a lot of moving parts out in front of the goaltender, you've had some changing parts inside I guess the first question is, is Aaron Rondazzo going to be done for the season or does he no, take we one last to have it, Yeah, we expect to have him back this weekend. Uh, he practiced yesterday. Um, he's, uh, it looks like he'll be back here this weekend. So it's, uh, you know, he wants to finish the season the right way. And uh, it's been, uh, it's been tough on him. You know, you have Elias gone to the, to the under 18 world championships. And then, you know, for Aaron to go down with an injury was uh, tough on everybody involved. And I, you know, obviously the USHL, you're, you're always trying to get these players up to that next level and stuff like that. And Cam Smith has had to get a lot of playing time and trial by fire. How have you liked his resiliency here over the last couple of weekends where he's kind of had to serve emergency duty? Yeah, I mean, Cam came in and uh, it, it's the first time for him seeing this level of hockey. Uh, and he he's had some very good outings. There's there's goals he definitely would like to have back. But at the same time, I mean, we were playing the, the top two teams in our division with Chicago and Dubuque. So he wasn't just thrown into the USHL. He was he was thrown into the top of the USHL. And so it's been it's been a great challenge for him. I, I love the way he's responded. And we had a good talk at practice yesterday just about you know, what this experience has been like for him. Uh, but it's it's not easy to just jump in and, and say, I mean, we can throw a forward out there for two or three shifts and and say, well, you got your feet wet in the USHL. Well, you don't really get to do that with a goalie. So it's been, uh, it's been a great challenge for him. And, you know, he's kept a positive attitude through it. And, and you mentioned there, I mean, th those are two really high-flying offensive teams. I, you know, e even the even some of these games here, you know, he was making 30 plus saves because he was seeing, <laughs> he was seeing close to 40 and, and with these teams that you, you were facing, obviously they do different things that make it a lot difficult on the goaltenders and, and even the people in front of them. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's the other thing is our decor has been a little bit beaten up as well. I mean, we've lost John Driscoll for the year now, Ethan Strachey, who came back, he's done for the year now, Jerry Crespo has been playing through an injury. So our, our decor has been beat up and it, it's, it's just, it's a challenge that teams all go through at certain times of the year. And, and we're dealing with it right now. And coming up this weekend, you will do a home and home against Madison. It's, it's been a few weeks since you've seen them. And uh, I guess this final road trip for uh, the first game and obviously last home game of the season coming up this Saturday, what are you hoping to see from your players this final weekend? You know, we talked uh, after the game on Saturday just about, you know, coming in and enjoying the week. Uh, you know, there's a lot going on with guys planning their, their trips home and everything like that. But let's let's enjoy our time together, what we have on the ice, and, and really, you know, put a competitive uh, game out there both Friday and Saturday and, and enjoy it. And I think the teddy bear toss on Saturday makes it a little bit easier, um, you know, when you have the great crowd and everybody will be engaged in that one. So... But it's important that we're we're ready to go on Friday as well, and and you know it's a growing experience for everybody involved. You know, it's it's not just the players, it's the coaches as well to you know go through these type of times, and and it's important that we come in and enjoy our time together, though. How hard is it to get your team focused for a week like this, where obviously, as you mentioned, they're 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 kind of looking ahead to you know how they're getting out of town. The season's over. There's no playoffs. Um, but how do you kind of keep your guys focused on the task at hand, which, you know, hopefully, you know, good Lord willing comes up to about four points. Yeah. I, I, I think it's all about what we just talked about. I mean, you got to have fun with it and show up and nobody can feel sorry for themselves. You got to show up and enjoy the, 
enjoy the practice for the next few days together and then go out there and want to compete together and 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 actually just you know want to beat a team you got to you got to want to show up and and be part of that process so i you know for our guys i think the last couple of weeks might have been a little bit harder because it was kind of like okay it's coming it's coming it's here now so let's just go out and enjoy this time together and and then you know then we'll say our goodbyes and and guys will make their way Taking a look at the season that was at this point, if you were to pass out three stars to your team, who would get them? You know, I we we've kind of gone through spurts. Um, you know, where guys had you know great successful seasons, and then times where they just were trying to find their way. And you know, I think our captain Jared Crespo, you know, he's been such a good leader through the whole thing. But there was a time where I think leading might have taken away from his his game. And he had, a, he had a tough month, month and a half of hockey where he just wasn't comfortable. And, and the, the way he's fought through that and, you know, been really strong for us down the stretch and, and been a, you know, a player that now is ready to go to Penn State and contribute on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, you know, that would be the one. Um, you look at, you know, some of our forwards, you know, Al Cervagno probably goes without notice night in and night out just for all the little things he does. And, yeah, it, another player that's going to go to Penn State uh, and have a great college career. He is just, he is so fun to coach. He's the most competitive kid that we've had here um, this season. And, and he just, he loves the game. And then, you know, then you start looking at some of the, the Ryan Greens and Cam Lunds, the years they've had offensively, have, have been real strong for younger players in this league. And even though Ryan's been in the league for a couple of years, it, it's, you have to remember that, we go and play against a Halliday the, uh, for Dubuque and the number of games that Halliday's played compared to Green is, you know, a huge difference. And so, you know, Ryan Green's going to go to Boston University. Cam Lund's going to go to Northeastern. Now they get to go play against each other. So it's, it's two very offensive players are going to be high NHL draft picks this year and, and be ready to uh, contribute at the next level now. You know, you bring up, you know, a, a good couple of teams here to see them battle in the bean pot. Are there matchups at all on your squad right now that, you know, they're on their team now, but when they go off and play their college hockey, you kind of go, you know what? I can't wait to see what those guys will do against each other. That's a unique one right there. Sorry. They're, they're going to see each other in that environment for the next, you know, however many years until they move on to pro hockey, but you know, it's, they have similar styles. They have similar personalities. That, that one will be a, a unique one. We've had guys that have taken off and gone to like the big 10 and, and been like, Oh, those guys will butt heads for the next couple of years now. But that, that whole bean town or bean pot uh, or tournament that goes on every year in February, it'll be interesting to see Ryan and cam go head to head in that one. Now, obviously Saturday night will be the end of an era for you. 11 years with the organization. When you reflect on those 11 years, what are, what are some of your most favorite moments and ones that you'll take with you uh, as you leave the organization? Yeah, the championship was, you know, uh, an amazing night. It was an amazing experience, but I, I truly just all the, every year I've enjoyed being here. It's, it's an unbelievable level of coach app. Uh, my staff's have been amazing to work with. I enjoy coming to the office every day. It's uh, the USHL is a great league, you know, PMI entertainment and the gambler organization, you know, want to do everything the right way. And so it's been great to work here, but it's uh, it's been a great 11 years there. I, I would like to have that one more great playoff run that, you know, with some of the teams we had, I really thought we had teams that could win the championship and we never got that next run. So I'd like to have had one more of those, but at the same time, you don't look back at what could have been. You look forward at where you're headed. And looking forward, where are you heading at this point? You know, right now I have no idea. Uh, there's going to be some opportunities out there, whether it's through college hockey or pro hockey. Uh, I'm just, you know, we'll do whatever best for, the family next and you know right now I, I I'm looking at probably trying to get back and being an, an assistant coach again uh I think it's a great opportunity for me to learn from somebody else but uh I I have no idea there's certain levels where I could be a head coach again so it's it's wait and see and and uh kind of excited about the next opportunity 
Well, coach, we've certainly have enjoyed having you on. I believe it's been 55, 60 times over the last two years that we've had you on. I've probably learned about more about hockey than you've forgotten about I've, whatever the phrase is. Uh, obviously, we've learned a lot here over the last uh, 60 episodes that we've done this. Uh, we wish you the best of luck, and we appreciate all the time that you've had, especially talking to a hockey novice like myself. I, I've appreciated it, Tim. It's always a blast. And, uh, you know, then that this community has been great to us. I mean, it's, it's always fun to talk hockey and, and hopefully build that little fan base a little bit more. Last two games for the Green Bay Gamblers coming up this weekend, both against Madison Friday. It will be in Madison at the Bob Suter Capital Ice Arena this Saturday. Make sure you grab your teddy bears, your new teddy bears, toss them out onto the ice after that first Gamblers goal. That game will start at 7.05 at the Rest Center. Coach, once again, thanks for joining us always. Always fun, Tim. Appreciate it. And you're watching the new Radio Sports Network.